You guys, today's is module six, lesson eight. It's on page 63. It says the coordinate pairs listed locate points on two different lines. Write a rule that describes the relationship between X and Y coordinates for each line. So let's unpack what this is saying. It says the coordinate pairs, we know what those are. This is a coordinate pair, this is a coordinate pair. Listed locate points on two different lines. So we have line L and line M. Write a rule, so this is your action you're gonna need to do, write a rule that describes the relationship between the X and Y coordinates. So the relationship between these coordinates for each line. So we have two different rules we need to write. We need to write one rule for line L and then a separate rule for line M. So let's look at them as though the other doesn't exist. When we look at line L, we don't care about line M at all. Let's just look at what we see here. So first it says X and Y. I'm gonna go ahead on here and locate, or um, label my X and Y, so X, Y, okay, X, Y. Why? So what is true about all three of these is what we're trying to figure out. What is their relationship to one another? So I'm gonna start here at the end. Um, and if you can guess, I decided to do that because they're both whole numbers. They're the easiest for me to kind of think about because I know whole numbers the best. It's what I'm most familiar with. So I know that five is half of 10. So I'm gonna be like, okay, well, I know that on this one, five is half of 10. So let me see if one and two thirds is half of three and a half. Well, one and two thirds plus one and two thirds to see if it double makes three and a half is two and six thirds or two and four thirds, sorry, which equals three and one third. So that rule applies. What about this one? Is three and a half doubled going to be seven? Three and one half plus three and one half. Six plus another half equals seven. So that rule does apply. So now the problem is we need to like write it as a rule. So we can write it as an equation. We can say line L. So rule for line L equals, or I'll do dot dot, X. So I'm gonna start with X, because X comes first. X is what? What do we say? Is it, how would we describe that? X is half of Y. X equals one half of Y. That's all you needed to do. So now I want you to look at this one, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y. Pause me and see if you can figure out what the relationship is for the rule for line M. So let's see. We're doing kind of the same thing, but I don't have any whole numbers to start with. So I'm going to look carefully at my fractions, kind of decide which one looks like it would be the easiest for me to kind of start to like think about that relationship. And here I'm seeing six over three. And I know that that's the same as two. So then I can look at these ones. Well, two is double Y. So two is double one, X maybe is double Y, let's see. Let's see, is this one double this one? Hmm, if I add one and three fourths twice, will I get three and a half? Equals two and six fourths, which equals three and two fourths, which equals three and a half. So that works. Is six and a half doubled 13? Yes, it is. So now we just need to think about how we phrase that for our rule equation. We're gonna start with X equals again. X equals, hmm, what do we need to do with Y to make X? We need to multiply it by two. So x equals 2y. 